This video is section 3.5, limits at infinity. So the definition of a horizontal asymptote um, is y equals l is an horizontal asymptote when the limit as x approaches infinity of the function equals l, or the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the function equals l. But only needs to happen in one direction, either whether it's happening as x approaches positive infinity or it's happening as x approaches negative infinity. Um, if that y value is going towards some real number l, then you have a horizontal asymptote. Sometimes it happens on both ends and sometimes just once on one end, which is why the word or is used there instead of the word and. So theorem 410 says limits at infinity. The limit as x approaches infinity of any constant over x to a positive power will always equal zero. And the logic here is, is that x grows very large. If you raise it to an exponent, it grows even larger. And if the denominator is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, the fraction value itself is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, getting closer and closer and closer to zero. Now the limit as x approaches negative infinity of e to the x is zero, okay? And you can see that by the graph. If you were to graph, um, well, I don't wanna draw it on here, but if you were to graph e to the x, and watch how as x approaches negative infinity, as the x values go toward negative infinity, the y value is getting closer and closer and closer to zero. Now the limit of y equals negative x, as x approaches positive infinity, it's doing the same thing. Notice the curve is going in the other direction. And now as x approaches positive infinity, the y value is still getting closer and closer to zero. So that's rule three here. Then the indeterminate forms are going to be infinity over infinity, infinity over negative infinity, negative infinity over infinity, negative infinity over negative infinity, zero over zero, infinity over zero, or negative infinity over zero. If you get any of these indeterminate forms, you need to use algebra to find the limit. Now, some of you may have taken calculus before and you may have learned L'Hopital's rule. Um, however, in this particular chapter, you are not allowed to use L'Hopital's rule. You must use the techniques that we talk about in this chapter. L'Hopital's rule will be in chapter five, and at that point, you can apply L'Hopital's rule. But for now, do not apply L'Hopital's rule on test two. I'm sorry, on test three, which is over chapter three. Now, here it says, hint, divide each term in the numerator and each term in the denominator or a rational function by x to the power p, where p is the degree of the denominator. And we'll talk about how to do this as we go through our problems because this is the technique we'll be using. It says, recall, the degree is the highest exponent of a polynomial, which includes monomials, binomials, and trinomials, etc. Next page is going to be our examples. So we'll get into that in just a bit. <laughs> 